Hello and welcome to the third video in a series of videos about how to use and make paper in Corel Painter 2016. In the last video, we talked about the uh, Paper Libraries panel, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Papers uh, Control Panel. And remember, to get to the Papers Control Panel, you would click on Window and come down to Paper Panels, and then click on Papers. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut on a PC of Control plus 9, or on a Mac of Command plus 9. Okay, so let's just look at the Paper Control Panel, uh, just an overview of it. The first thing you notice is we have the thumbnail here of the currently uh, active paper. In this case, it's gessoed canvas, and it tells you that its size is 250 pixels by 250 pixels. If we click on this little arrow here, we will open up actually uh, something similar to the paper's library panel. And what we'll have is each one of the paper libraries showing that are, has been uh, installed into Painter. So we can actually select uh, a paper that we want to use by just clicking on this uh, library here and go back and forth finding whatever paper we might uh, want to use. And so that uh, means we wouldn't have to have the paper's library open all the time. The next thing that you might see here is a paper rotation slider. And what that does is exactly what you think. It rotates the paper on a cent central axis. Now, this paper uh, showing in this little square preview is the upper left corner of the paper. So when I begin to tilt it, the center point is down here, and it's tilting around the center point. And so we can change the uh, angle or the rotation of the currently selected paper. The next slider is the paper scale slider. And it's just what it sounds like. We can make the paper bigger or smaller. Notice that when you make it bigger, uh, you can see how much bigger. Remember, it was 256 pixels on a side. It's now 743 pixels on a side. The default for paper is going to be 0, 100% for scale, 100% for contrast, and 50% for brightness. Uh, with pay paper contrast, if we increase it, we get more contrast, decrease it, and we get less contrast, as you would imagine. And if we go to paper brightness, then as we increase it, the paper is going to get brighter and brighter, decrease it, and it gets uh, less bright. And again, remember that the default settings are zero for rotation, 100 for scale, 100 for um, paper contrast, and 50 for paper brightness. We also have an option button up here like we did for paper libraries, but it will look different depending on whether the paper library, um, paper command, <coughs> excuse me, paper command panel is active or paper libraries panel is active. When the Paper Command panel is active and you click on it, you will see that you can uh, open up the Paper Library panel just like you could uh, when we had the Paper Library panel open, we could open up the Paper Control panel. We can rename the currently selected paper. We can set a custom icon for that paper. We can capture paper. We can make paper. And we can invert paper. Okay, so those are all, all can be done in the option uh, button area here. Now, again, if we click on paper libraries and we click the option button, the choices are different. And one, two other things that we have here is a direction toggle and an invert toggle. And I will explain those and all the rest of the stuff, how to use them in a library where we actually use the paper controls library. Uh, and we'll also have another video where we actually make paper libraries utilizing the paper library panel. Okay, so that's it for this video. 
I will come back with another video shortly. Enjoy. Bye-bye.